and welcome back to the Southampton FM series. In the last episode, we kicked off our Premier League campaign with two losses and one win. But the two losses, to be fair, are against Arsenal and Chelsea, so they don't count. But it is deadline day, and I'm going to search for a centre mid because we need one. Other than that, nothing really else to do other than just get through the games. All right, we have made our midfield signing on deadline day. Manu Morlane. Now, obviously, he's not being signed to revolutionise the team. He's basically signed to give us more squad depth. He plays a deep-lying playmaker role. Decent. He's a decent player. I mean, he's got very consistent, relishes big matches, which is very good. And he's not exactly expensive. We're getting him for 6.7 with a few add-ons potentially if he reaches 50 appearances and whatnot. So it's a good deal, in my opinion. He brings more depth for the team. And that's basically our window done. And we're also going to loan in this Ahamada guy. I just offered a loan last second. He's just going to be to cover midfield again. And that's the window done. Apparently, we signed the most players. Chelsea sold 25 players. Okay. All right, for the first game of the day, we are hosting Everton. I mean, the team is normal, but more lanes. More lanes, the new man, is going into midfield as Shea Charles is not 100% fit. But other than that, normal starting 11, Mara or Falkrog just need to start scoring. That is our problem. We have no striker that wants to score. Ralph Hasenuto, it's time to do battle, mate. Chance. Oh, it's a screamer. It's a screamer. To be fair, Everton have dominated us. Ruff Arsenal has got my number. We're in trouble. We're in We're in deep shit. We're in deep shit. We're in deep shit. Thank God for that. All right. That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. Not happy with that in the slightest. Subs are being bad. Oh, it's a good ball. Everton with a chance. calvert Lord makes it two. He may be offside. He may be offside. Hold on. Hold on. He's not offside. Fuck's sake. Oh, my God. I just made my... We're playing 10 minutes. Oh my god, I just made my sub. Fuck, this is just going bad. This is just going bad. Just spin the game. Chance for Everton. Chance, chance, chance. Three. I mean, we're down to ten men. Can't do much about that. That's just bullshit. Well, this Premier League season hasn't started well. And guess what our next three games are? United, Liverpool, and City. Yeah, yeah, nah, this is awesome. And full crogs out for three weeks. Yeah, this is awesome start to the season. All right, we go again. The way at Anfield, the start of the season is an absolute killer. We need to get something in these next three games. We're playing against three teams. We're most likely going to get spanked by. We just need something. What is our defense doing? Oh, my God. Do not let Nunez just run free in the box there, please. Fucking hell. Well, this performance has been much better. I mean, Liverpool really only created in the last couple of minutes and a half. We've actually been competitive. Now we just got to actually finish the game well and not give them goals, please. Adozi. Adozi beats his man. Adozi. It's Alcaraz. It's Alcaraz. It's in. Of course. Of course. It's Carlos. Come on. We take the lead just after the half. Get the fucking Anfield stunned. They're stunned. They can't believe it. They can't believe it. Nice ball, Mara. He may be offside there. He may be offside. Alcaraz taps it in. It's in. It's two. It's two in Anfield. Alcaraz, you fucking hero. Mara gets the assist. Get the fucking. Nice, Adozi. Alcaraz. Mara, move for him. It's fine. Adozi picks it up. More lanes. And Tamara. It's Super Siku. It's in. It's free. Oh, he may be offside. Oh, my God. What's happening in Anfield? It's 3 nil. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a performance to be proud of. Come on. I know some of you would have gone, out, look out. Out, look out. Shove that up your rectum. It's free new at Anfield. That is a fucking huge victory. What a performance. All right, next game, we host Manchester United. Difficult, difficult games left, right and centre. But after that victory against Liverpool, I'm feeling more confident. I was a little bit scared after Everton dicked us. I was thinking, fuck. Maybe we will struggle this season, but that Liverpool win made me feel a bit better. Bruno Fernandes on the free kick. Oh, fuck off. Oh, three minutes in. The worst possible start. Go, go, Alcaraz. Stop looking. Stop looking over there at the fucking stars, mate. Fucking hell. Go to the ball. Oh, no. Don't let it just drop like that, Bazunu. Thank God you exist. You're a beautiful specimen. Nice downs. Drives. Still going down. Still going downs. Punches out. Oh, Nana. What is he doing? Chance. Mara, it's in. Oh, Nana. Oh, Nana. What are you doing, fella? Come on. Oig. Back to Alcaraz. Alcaraz, he's going to go for goal. No. Walker Peters. 
Walker Peters, cross across. Played across! You're joking, Walker Peters, bud. Nice for them downs. Beautiful. I mean, that was just stupid all round. Oh my god, it's off the bar. What the fuck are we doing there? Nice downs into Alcaraz. Alcaraz into Super Siku! It's Super Siku! He's on fire, baby! The Frenchman's cooking! Super Siku is cooking! Come on, we turn it around! And it's half time! And the Saints lead 2 1! Oh my god, Rashford's bloody rapid, Mutt. Chance, chance, United on the counter, chance, it's in! <laughs> Fuck! Shaw with the corner near post, off the crossbar! Jesus Lord, have mercy! Nice Alcaraz, well won, Mara! Sikumara, Carvalho, Fabio Carvalho going! He's going! It's Alcaraz! He wants another! No, he's missed! Oh, yes, no! No, how has he missed? How has he missed? Bree! 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 What the fuck are you doing, Bree? I brought you what? Oh, brother. Bree's just bottled it. Bree! 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 You deserve at least 10 more, but it hurts my hands to do, bud. Fucking dumbass, bro. Oh, my God. You've just given them the fucking win, bro. You've just given them the win, you fuckwit. No, nothing, nothing like, nothing like bottling it when you bring a fucking player on and you're thinking he'll show up the defense. Nah, he just gives them the win. Fucking excellent. Mara wins the player of the month. That's what he does, baby. Hopefully he can actually cook on now. Two good games in a row. Let's hope there's more to come. All right, away to Manchester City. Morlanes is in. Bonetti is in. Larios is in. We've been playing pretty well. I mean, the last two games have been good. Obviously, we didn't win the last game, but overall, pretty decent. And Pep Guardiola. We meet again, brother. Two cup finals we played against each other. Corner ball, Rafinha. Haaland. How, how has he missed? What? Oh, my God. More lanes. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? Jesus. Ball in. Haaland. Good save. But it's in on the rebound. Oh, fuck off. Walker Peters. Walker Peters. Walker Peters still. Walker Peters still. Of course he shoots. Can this guy stop shooting? I'm sick of it. Rafinha for Manchester City. Jams his way through. Diaz from distance. Are you taking the piss? Ruben Diaz has just hit the crossbar of distance. Yeah, whatever. Ben it. Ben the game. Ben it. Half time 2 0. Game's done. This game's finished. Oh my god, more lanes. More lanes. What the fuck are you doing? What is going on today? Oh my god. How many turnovers, bro? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just been the game. This has just been fucking abysmal. Really shit. Harlan's on the free kick. What the fuck's going on? He's got to be offside by a million years. Nice win. Fabio Carvalho. What the fuck are we doing with the ball? Sila. Sila still. Larios to Carvalho. It's good football. Carvalho just fucking sends it to the moon. Yeah, this is awesome. That's just fucking shit. This is just shit, bro. What is wrong with this team? You have games where they defend well, and then games where they just actually ship anything that walks into their box. Nice. Adam Armstrong scores a goal. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come back, come back. Nice right, full time. 4 1. Better just to forget about that. Fuck off. We've played five of the top six in our first seven games. Fuck off. Now, for the rest of this episode, we'll be going over what happened over the next month. For our first match, we hosted Luton Town and we took the lead within 13 minutes as Mara capitalized on this horror mistake. 20 minutes later, Dozy gave away a penalty with Bazunu doing what he does best as he saves the pen. And just into the second half, we made it 2-0 with Mara getting on the end of a cross from Adozi, and it ended 2-0. Next match, we travelled away to recently promoted Leicester City. Nothing much of note happened in the first half, but just into the second half, their keeper pulled off a ridiculous save to deny us the opener. But only seven minutes later, Adozi picked out the run of Mara and he slotted it home. And then from kickoff, we conceded one of those brain-dead goals I've ever seen. It was safe to say I was slightly raging. It ended 1-0 and it's a disappointing result as one mistake cost us three points. On a quick side note, we actually got put into the top 10 best academies in the world as we got placed ninth above Real Madrid. But don't you worry, we will rise these ranks as I'm heavily involved in the youth and I'm going to show you our youth academy at the end of the season. Now on to our next match, we hosted Leeds United. We nearly took the lead through Mara but somehow the Leeds keeper saved it. 
And into the second half, Buonanetti found Silas. He smashed it home to give us the lead with 20 minutes left to play. And Silas' goal was enough to get us all three points. For the next match, we travel to Title Challenges Newcastle. Yes, you heard that right. These guys are actually in a title race. And it was not a good start from us as we conceded within 15 minutes. But we managed to pull level only six minutes later, but it was ruled for offside. And we were lucky to not be down 2-0 as this shot comes off the post and the rebounders hit straight at Bizunu. And with only a minute remaining of the half, we somehow did not score this chance as Buonanetti refused to play it across to Fulkrog. And then the follow-up ball into the box was missed by Fulkrog. And with only 15 minutes remaining, Mara was forced off with an injury, which is a huge loss as he was in terrific form. And now we have to finish the game with 10 men. And unfortunately, we came out of this game with nothing, but with the chances we created, we should have at least scored one. And with that injury, Mara was sidelined for four weeks. And for our last game of the episode, we hosted Aston Villa. The first half was utterly boring, but Villa did strike only five minutes into the second half. But luckily for us, it was ruled out for offside. But with only additional time left, Aston Villa were awarded a penalty. And Ollie Watkins struck it home to steal a point from the Saints as it ended 1-0. And that's going to be the end of this episode as we sit in 13th on 13 points with only four wins from our opening 12 matches. But I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode.